Fantastic, the developer behind the highly anticipated zombie MMO The Day Before, has recently issued an apology regarding their marketing strategies just days before the game's release. The statement posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, was addressed to future players, supporters, and even those who may have doubted them. But will this strategy work to their benefit since the game has been surrounded by controversies? Today we've got some interesting news from the world of gaming. This news is more of a marketing type of news in my opinion. Fantastic, the developer behind the highly anticipated zombie MMO the day before has recently issued an apology. And this apology is very interesting and has many layers to it. And one of the things that we'll do in this video is analyze some of the things that they said in the post on X as well as pull the lessons from this marketing strategy. So essentially, they expressed their gratitude to the community saying, we made this game for you too. We accept any kind of criticism and don't hold a grudge against you. Now, why would you hold a grudge against the community that's going to be taking the time to play your game? It's one of the things that happen any product that you release to the world. There's going to be a level of criticism with that particular product. So I think that this statement, although it's meant to have a positive sentiment heading into the game's launch, it may not necessarily benefit them in the long run. So the developer continues and says uh, they acknowledge shortcomings in their marketing efforts, stating, please forgive us for not doing the best marketing and teasers. We learn something new and improve ourselves every single day. And now that goes for any company that's going to release a product on the market. You know, you test out the things that you can test out ahead of time with research and development. And then from there, you know, you take the hits that come with releasing a product on the market. And this is one of the things that we see time and time again with any particular product or any company that is either transitioning, pivoting um, and doing different things to capture uh, not only the attention of new individuals playing their title or using their product, but really understanding what's happening with their current community to make adjustments so they can be top of mind. So Fantastic went on to dispel accusation or accusations is saying, please don't accuse us of scamming. That's not true. We didn't take a penny from anyone. Please don't accuse us of asset flip. That's not true. Also, our team worked day and night for five years to make our dream game a reality. Now, the fact that I'm spending time understanding what's happening with this this is the first time I've heard of this game, I think ever, right? So this strategy is interesting because it's putting the game top of mind for a lot of individuals who probably didn't know the game even existed, which is extremely interesting, right? And I think that this, that might serve them, right? But the asset flip situation, um, not taking a penny from anyone, scamming conversations the perception of that alone is not in my opinion a positive sentiment for a game that you you're launching on december 7th which is very very interesting that you post this ahead of the launch of the game and this is the advertisement that we see before individuals consider checking out the title or playing the title now granted the game may be phenomenal you know it reminds me of a lot of games that i've played in the past or still play you know on and off like division 2 and things of that nature but this statement ahead of that is um ahead of launch is very interesting to me in a lot of ways so uh the statement though it aims to set the record straight ahead of the the day before's release right which is what we're talking about right now so uh, this video is going to be released on the day of the title releasing, right? So some of the controversies, though, uh, we have to address the elephant in the room. So the day before his development journey has been filled with controversy, right? Including delays, criticism about unpaid volunteers, and even a bizarre trademark dispute that led the game being temporarily removed from Steam. Now, that those type of things are not necessarily positive when you're trying to make sure that 
the game or the product that you're putting out in the world is going to start off on some great legs heading forward to how people are going to perceive that particular title, right? Now, despite all these challenges, Fantastic remains optimistic and is excited to finally share their hard work with the gaming community. And I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of individuals interested in what this experience is going to be about, you know, as they get ready for it to be uh, be on Steam and, you know, paid at thirty nine dollars. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to do in this particular video is really talk about some lessons that we can take away from this particular situation. OK, they post a a post on X apologizing and addressing different individuals, potential supporters and things of that nature about their title that they're releasing on December 7th. Now, lesson number one is communication is extremely important. So now we have to give fantastic credit because of the open letter. It shows the importance of addressing concerns and being transparent with their audience. We do see that. But the thing is, there's positive and negative sentiments that are attached to this particular announcement that may not necessarily fare good in their favor in the future. OK, so lesson number two, we have resilience here and it may pay off for them. OK, despite facing various setbacks, fantastic. They did persevere and is now on the brink of releasing their dream game. OK, now I'm sure with games like this, especially in the world that we're in today with patches and different things that we may get, we're going to see this game progress, hopefully for the better. So I'm going to stay hopeful, right? I haven't checked it out. You know, they haven't sent me any, you know, review copy or any units or anything like that. This is from the observation from this particular post on X. OK, and lesson number three, managing expectations is crucial. OK, setting realistic expectations and being clear about your product can help avoid misunderstandings and potential backlash. Now, we don't know exactly what the future holds for this title the day before. But what we do know is it resembles a lot of titles that we've played in the past and any game that we play these days are inspired by games that we played in the past. So, you know, shout outs to them for being resilient to bring this title to the world. And let's see what happens as they move forward in their journey.